during the winter time I, I shut the hydro down just because I don't want to have uh, freeze burst which I had the first year. I waited one day too long to shut the line down and so I had to replace 600 feet of pipe because it all <sighs> frozen in line and just oh, burst. That's terrible. But, that is you know, terrible. It's, it's a learning experience. If you take a class in something, you pay money. <laughs> that was just my class in that. And, you know, I will say that for me, the uh, my managing of and comprehension of the hydro turbine system, the hardest part has been managing the civil engineering of that big pipeline up the hill. Uh -huh. that's, that's something that really needs a lot of attention. If you're going into hydro, do not scrimp on thinking your way through the water, the penstock, the right. pipeline part. Because right. that's, that's a part that's going to be um, a nuisance and, and depending on your situation, it could be catastrophic. For example, I built in essentially a whole series of soft joints right. so that the pipeline will, will blow itself apart without damage, uh -huh. uh, which is a really nice way to do it. And I found um, I found some coolant hose, some heavy-duty reinforced cooling hose that's made actually for bulldozer radiators that fits my pipeline perfectly. So I just have uh, four hose clamps holding each of those joints in place so that if anything happens, if I have water hammer, for example, uh -huh. or some other thing, it's just going to pull itself apart without destroying hundreds of feet of, of uh, PVC piping, which is, it's not, it's not terribly expensive, but it's a real nuisance when you're hauling it up and down the hill. Right, uh, yeah. To do that. So, so water hammer, that's when the, the flow of the water abruptly has to stop that's either right. to a, a clog or yes. quickly closing a valve or something, yeah, something, and you get a pressure spike, right? And you get, you get this pulse going right. up the hill, and it's... There's one. There's one beauty about hydraulics is that it is unforgiving. Yeah. You know, that's why it's so good for what it does. <laughs> so that's why when I turn my system off down here, I really, uh, I gradual, I gradually close the valve. I don't just doom, 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 doom. Right. I, I turn it slowly so that the system has has a way of achieving um, equilibrium all the way up. So. Yeah, I seem to remember you remarking early on that you had some problems with your pipeline joints? Um, I, I found that I needed to be really um, very much more conscientious than I had been used to for, for cleaning and uh -huh. priming and cementing joints because I'm just using uh, yeah. Schedule 40 PVC which yeah. is enough for me. Uh, I might feel like you had some wildlife issues too, right? I did have some wildlife issues of, of um, uh, on one of the soft joints, one of these pieces of, of uh, radiator hose that we're connecting to. I, I found one that was just squirting water and I went up and there were just giant teeth marks in it. So <laughs> a bear or something like that decided I'm going to chew on this because it's either irritating me or deciding to uh, <laughs> Uh, maybe attracting me or whatever, but but that's the thing. And uh, one of the things that I have switched to in as just a general routine is bell end PVC, so you don't have to have a fitting; just one automatically fits over the other. Uh. And so I have used uh, I ordered a whole a whole bundle of bell end PVC, which just really saves me a lot of time. Okay. And then in every spring. When I'm booting the system back up again, I have to double check to make sure a tree hasn't fallen on the pipeline. Or and it, that happened a couple of years ago, and I did have to replace one small section. But other than that, I've been All right. getting well, better. So here's a shot of the pipeline off in the distance there. So how many feet of line do you say you have? Just over a thousand feet. Wow. Thousand feet. Let's see if I can zoom in here. And so there. Um, how long is each section? Twenty feet. Twenty foot sections. So you got twenty sections, huh? Uh, Fifty sections. Fifty sections. Feet. Okay. Give or take. I I could measure it off, but that's just what I seem to remember. Okay.
All right, let's walk on up to the intake.